The 11th Winter International Arts Festival in Suchi offers a sophisticated selection. There's music, theatre, opera and ballet and a competition for young composers. It's one of the largest cultural events in Russia. Artistic director and conductor Yuri Bashmet says it's a festival of research, a festival of premieres, a festival of discoveries of names, a star festival, very star-studied. I mean, the participants, also the educational side is very important. The Grammy Award-winning Moscow soloist chamber ensemble, conducted by Yuri Bashmet, who played a double bass balalaika. Virtuoso Mikhail Judse said he was the first, but now bass balalaika inspires young composers. He said this instrument was not created in order to play its solo from the very beginning. Nobody would propose it to play at a complicated musical piece and moreover with an orchestra. In the 20th century it was even impossible to imagine that. The American jazz singer Jane Monheit brought to Sochi her program dedicated to her one and everlasting inspiration, Ella Fitzgerald. Jane has received several Grammy nominations and New York Times wrote that her voice has a phenomenal beauty. I think jazz is a music that kind of the most wonderful thing about it is that it is so traditional and historic and so modern at the same time. All of it's happening at once. Historic meets modern. Nikolai Gogol's story about a young bride dumped by her groom has been performed since 1842. Then Soviet academic theatre from St. Petersburg performed Yuri Butasov's City Marriage Gogol. Watching this performance, you may feel there's not much comedy left. Actor Sergei Migotsko says it's a sad play. Everyone wants to find a life partner. But in this case, it just doesn't work out. Anna Kovalchuk, who plays the bride, thinks Gogol describes modern life when loneliness becomes a choice. She says spectators often say it's their life story. The play is about the fact that people are lonely and do not want to unite with any other creature, with another man. They say they want to meet someone. No, it's intentional, it's a conscious loneliness. Nowadays, people do not marry. People selfishly live only for themselves. A marriage or some kind of relationship is first of all about giving. But now no one wants to give, and Gogol, as I think, wrote exactly about this. But true love still inspires Ramona, a story of the love between two Soviet trains by the Georgian puppet theatre Rezzo Gabriazzi has been a tremendous success. The son of the famous director, Leo, explains why the public likes it. He says our dramatic performances are not for children, they're for grown-ups. And this mix of puppets and drama, the real drama, that's what makes our theatre unique. The 11th Winter International Arts Festival in Sochi started on the 16th and would last until the 25th of February. Bye.